What's going on guys, it's your boy Squeeps here, and I know I missed last Monday, but that was because I was in Chattanooga, and I didn't vlog that much, well I didn't vlog at all. Today I'm going to be changing, or trying to tighten a belt, I also have the car up here in a minute so you can hear it, and you can hear how the belt sounds like a wild turkey, and <laughs> it's really bad actually, you cracked me up first time. It's actually just started up. Ready? This is a lovely noise. Now, I know you hear that wild turkey in there. I know you do. And I already know which one it is because I came out here just a minute ago and I started touching around, feeling which belts are loose, and it is that one. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and remove this air box. It is loose because, I, like I said, I was already out here, took the things off. Better remove this. Alright guys, so I got it out. Now, like I said, this this one here is the loose one. I don't know if you can tell in the video how much play is in it. Compared to this one down here, it doesn't have much play. But this one has a lot more. So, I'm going to attempt to tighten this this way. Like if you see here. These, no, won't light up. I won't focus at all. Okay, I'm trying to move this over, if at all. I think it's already all the way moved over. But I'm going to try it anyways. It doesn't work. Well, the belt may just be stretched, and we're going to have to go get a new belt. Okay, let's go. Now I'm feeling so gone. Curse to return. Here being taught what I've already learned. I can't really take it. Tell me who made it. I'm going to go to It's not this belt right here. It's this belt back here. I know you can't see it, but... It's that second belt that's way back there. I don't know how to quite reach that. So. Alright guys, so I wasn't recording when I got it because I was struggling. But I actually got it. it the biggest pain in the butt in the world. But I got it loosened enough to wear. I just gotta keep doing this and twisting it. And eventually, I'll be able to take it out. So let me sit you down somewhere. So guys, while I'm doing this, I know you can't see me, but I'll tell you the story of why I have this. I was driving my E46 one day, and I was going to see a friend. I was going to go play soccer with him. And out of nowhere, I got off the interstate, because I'm like, yo, my car's overheating. This was when I first got it. I didn't know I didn't have any antifreeze, so they go, my car's overheating, and for some reason, I guess, I don't know if something got up in there or what happened, but my clutch fan, this fan that I'm moving, actually, like, it blew up. It, like, completely destroyed the shroud, it, obviously, the fan was destroyed, there we go. It put whole holes in my radiator. And I got stuck. <laughs> oh yes. That is a sweet victory right there, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all that space that we have now to reach those little belts. I think I'm actually about to move my hood too. Yeah. Why not? There's the belts. I know you can't see them. Now you can see them. This one's the loose one. Look at this. That's just awful, but I guess we'll go ahead and remove it. Well guys, my big camera died on me, so now I gotta use my little camera. I didn't know that it died, so I didn't get when I got the belts off, but I got them off. Here are the three belts. This is the main thing that I couldn't figure out how to get off. There's six. Here, let's throw this back on the way it goes. That's how it's on there, right? 
Well, there's six bolts that go in there that you can't see from up top. So, you know, this is what you see. So you're over here working. And you're like, yo, yo, how do I get these belts off, man? There's six little bolts that are in here. And then it pops up, and then you pull it off and you twist it, and the belts come off of it. So, I guess we'll leave that on there for now. We have to go ahead and put these parts. I guess I'll put them in, like, just place it on top. I'm not going to screw it in or anything. This guy, actually, I don't even need this. Thanks for nothing. No, just kidding. You try. It's all that matters. Good job. This, I'm going to put in the car. That, I'm going to put on top of here. And then I'm going to put my tools away. And then I guess we'll head to AutoZone. And I'm actually going to take this thing off. Because you saw that was tied earlier. It was wherever that little thing was at. It was on there. And I think I might grab some purple power. Just to clean off a little bit. Like, look at all that freaking grime right here. Look at that. That is disgusting. But... I like this camera, it's pretty nifty sometimes. See how small it is? I can get all up in here. Show you underneath the car. Look out the car. Oh, getting distracted. But, anyways, go ahead and go. I can't speak English anymore either. I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff up, and then we will roll out to AutoZone with the new belts. Alright, guys, so actually, after looking at the belts, Besides them being kind of loose or stretched or whatever they were, they're really, two of them are really bad, like about to crack. One of them is, well actually two of them are already are cracking, they have a lot of cracking in them. And one, oh, and then one is slightly cracking, not that bad, but still kind of bad. Here, I'm actually at a stoplight, so I'll show you really quickly. I don't think you guys can see it on camera, but these, this one and that one are cracking bad, and that one looks like a newer belt, so it's not cracking as bad, but. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Got the old belts, speed nuts, and the bolts, new belts. I think first I'm gonna go ahead and throw these, whoa, wait, there, and there. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw them on. So let's do that. Reposition you. Tight. I think we'll crank her up once real quick. 
so much better. All right guys, so I got these in. Those Oh, I hate this part. Where's my hammer? <laughs> Alright guys, so I got the intake back in, and I just noticed this. This, there we go, focused, is missing. I'm assuming it goes from here to there to out there. I guess we'll give her a crank, make sure there's no wild turkeys left in there. Ugh. Sounded so goofy. How to put my key? I'm awful at this, guys. I'm awful at keeping up with my keys. And it's in the pocket. I knew that. I was just testing you guys, see if you knew. Doing work. Ben is spinning. Wonderful. Alright, guys, so that's gonna be all for today's video. I'm trying to use this little light here to shine on my face. I don't know if you can see me or not, but pretty successful. Three, bel or three belts changed, no more turkey noise. Um, I actually got it to the fan shaft to actually stay in there. I also put two bolts on the top of my fuse box, so my fuse box stays in there. But I put it all back together now. Next, I think I think I might do the brakes next. If not the brakes, I don't know. I might go look for a tail light and then see what we can do about that rust spot and see if we can't build that. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and give me some feedback. I tried a little bit to get a steadier mount. I know this right now isn't because I'm kind of moving, but sorry for the wind as well if you can hear that. But uh, yeah, I will catch you guys either sometime during the week or next Monday. That's true. I know next Monday for sure for the car. Sometimes, sometime during this week, if we go shoot a video like soccer or something. I don't know, maybe vlog. I don't know yet. I haven't vlogged in a while. Maybe. But uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.